Paul the Trombone is here and in this video I'm going to show you how to do multiphonics on the trombone and that's where you sing and you play at the same time and there's a few different ways to approach this so don't go anywhere stay tuned and we'll get started <laughs> Multiphonics is singing and playing the trombone at the same time. So you want to get really good at your intervals, training your ear, getting good at intervals. So if you have a piano, it's the best to practice with the piano. So what I would do is I would just get it together on one note first. Now when you're doing multiphonics, singing and playing at the same time, octaves tend to come the easiest followed by fifths. And then the thirds are the ones where you have to really dial it in to get it perfectly centered. So we just practice on one note. That's how we get it together. Start on your F. That's a good one to start on. And then sing the octave above it. steps go down once you feel comfortable on that and your body knows how it feels when you're executing it take a simple melody simple melody and just practice that in octaves. So, so pick a, I'll just do like a little melody. Now, if you really practice this, you can get really, really into it, and you can kind of create chords out of it. You can create all kinds of chords, and it will uh, create a whole different environment and a whole different tonality with what you're doing with the multiphonics. So you can... Um Let's get the fifths now. Let's practice what the fifths would be. So you got the, I got the F, and I got the C. Sing it first. Once you sing it, then it's going to be easier to sing it as you buzz the F. There's fifths. You practice it the same way. You go down on half steps. You do a simple melody. It's going to take a little bit, a little bit more uh, slow practice to get the fifths together. It's the same thing. So the approach for getting the multiphonics together is have a piano with you. Have your trombone with you. Find what pitch you want to start on. I think the F is good. I think the B flat is also a good one. singing the fifth above that and you can practice all your intervals actually it's an infinite number of ways to do it you can practice all your inf intervals this way you can do every single one if you want to get really and it's also going to train your ear so the better you are at ear training the better you are at your ear training then the better you're going to be at these multiphonics okay now let's keep going with this let's keep going with this so let's talk about the thirds now we want to get the thirds so I'm going just a major third above it. Oh, oh, here's a major third above it like that. Get it in your head. We can make it minor. And 
this is how that feels. It's all about muscle memory and how remembering how things feel. <laughs> all my long tones except now I'm adding the singing and playing at the same time you can go down and half step do the same thing it's kind of tough playing the piano and getting the slide where you want it but ah see like that see like that that's what I'm talking about luckily I'm in carpet so here we go oh, I'm singing the pitch first possibly go. This is how you practice multiphonics. The same way you practice your long tones. The same exact way. You go slow. You get the buzz, what pitch you're going to buzz on. You get a piano pitch reference. It's good to have a piano next to you. I really think so. You play the pitch, sing it, get it in your brain, buzz the pitch, the, the fundamental pitch, Buzz the, and then sing the interval above it, do long tones on it, go down in half steps, pick a simple melody, simple melody, and do the same interval with the melody. Then you can even get super crazy with it, where you're mixing and matching different intervals, different intervals within a melody. So you're doing chords, you're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You can go as far as you want with this. It's a whole other uh, element to add to your palette of trombone playing. So that's multiphonics in a nutshell. And if you have any more questions about this, just leave them in the comments and I'll be I'll try to help you out as much as you can. It's a fun thing to get together. It's kind of what makes uh, another it makes it's a it's a crowd pleaser the audience definitely loves the multiphonics and that's pretty much how it goes so let's just like <laughs> love you dearly if you found some value in this video be sure to hit like on it uh, so I know to keep making videos uh, when you subscribe uh, hit the little bell so you get notified on the uploads I put up videos every week it's uh, typically Tuesdays and Saturdays with some in between you never know so you just got to stay tuned my debut album journey to the world charted on Amazon it's an Amazon bestseller if you haven't heard it you love the sound of the trombone and what uh, uh, an acoustical trombone fused together with an electronic component sounds like you're going to want to check out Journey to the World. If you want to know what kind of equipment I use, I'll put it in the description as well. My website, Paul the Trombonist, puts all my live events, all my shows. I'm doing live shows all around of my material. Uh, I'm DJ Paul the Trombonist. I'm bringing the trombone to that world. That's how it basically has been going these days. I really really uh, appreciate you all so incredibly much really do really do I love to hear from you all you can leave comments if you like a little more one-on-one -on -one consultation I've been doing that with you all as well you can book your time on my website that is still going on a couple slots there that's actually just opened up there's not much more else to say today other than you're the best this is Paul the Trombone signing off and Ba 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 ba